guys I'm back again I know it's been a while my friend told me that I've been slacking on my videos and I just had like a lot going on um, like the last month or two and I've also been um, like kickstarting up my uh, second season of my web series so I'll leave you guys a link so you guys can check that out so it's just been really busy and I haven't had time to like vlog and post stuff but I'm going to try my best to get back on it. Uh, I got my workout in this morning. I'm tired. It was a rough one, but it was good. I, um, I've been slacking on my workouts, so it's good to get back in shape and um, just get on it and stay on it, especially since I have a trip coming up uh, in a few weeks. So, <laughs> like, I really need to get it into gear because it's um, for the Bikini Series Challenge. I don't know if told you guys but um for tone it up um, me and my uh, one of my best friends we won uh, the trip to uh, Costa Rica so we're getting ready to go in a few weeks and I want to be beach ready <laughs> so I gotta get on my game and um, I've been like eating like junk here and there so I just need to clean that up um, this morning I have a banana smoothie. This is um, 10 bananas plus um, a little bit of coconut sugar and some water. So I gotta finish this up. Here are the 10 bananas. And um, I'll probably have like another banana smoothie for lunch because I have some really ripe bananas. Like those are really ripe that I used. Um, for breakfast and I needed to finish these off because they're like super ripe and I don't want them to go bad so I need to use them up so um yeah I'll probably have just bananas for like breakfast and lunch and for dinner I have the stew in the crock pot so this will be cooking all day um, I chopped up some veggies and um, some beyond meat I showed you guys a video of that, and it's a gluten-free um, meat substitute. Um, I mean, I had some leftovers, so I wanted to use it, but I'm going to try to start, you know, just making this stew without the Beyond Meat, because I want to get away from processed foods as much as possible. But we'll see how this turns out. Hopefully it's good. It looks really delicious. It just got started, so I don't really want to, like, open the pot and show you guys yet. But once it... Um, starts simmering and cooking and getting all the good stuff mixed it around I will show you guys um, like a little sneak peek of it and then once it's done you'll get to see how it turns out and what I'm gonna eat but um yeah that was a long spiel <laughs> but um I'm gonna get breakfast in and I will check in with you guys later it's good to be back it smells good in here Yep, it's done. The Beyond Meat Bok Pot Stew is finished. So right now it's just on warm because I'm waiting for Keon to come home so he can be my taste tester. But yum, look at this. Veggies. And Beyond Meat, I hope, like the Beyond Meat really soaked up <clears throat> all the flavor because I mean it's kind of like it reminds me of tofu because it's bland <laughs> and I mean you have to season it well I mean just like if you were eating chicken if you just have like just a regular piece of chicken breast it's gonna be bland and you need to season it uh, season it well and put like sauces and stuff to make it taste good so I'm hoping that this Beyond Meat really soaked up the flavor in this stew. So we have carrots and celery, potatoes, um, onions, the Beyond Meat, veggie broth, water, and the only seasoning I used was uh, black pepper and garlic powder. And that's about it. I think, yeah, that's it. Oh, and mushrooms, yeah, see, almost forgot. Mushrooms. So as soon as Keon gets home, we're going to try this out because it looks so good and it smells so good in here. So I will check in with you guys later. So Keon's eating the soup. A 
What do you think? Yeah. I like the broth. I don't think the Beyond Meat works too well in the whole broth um, boil situation. But the broth is good, and the veggies. And Beyond Meat is good too, but it's, yeah, yeah. it's not. Lesson learned. Next time I will just make it without the Beyond Meat because it turned out like really good. But the broth is so good and hearty. The vegetables, yum. The Beyond Meat just didn't hold up well. And I'm sad. Yeah. Oh well. Just have to eat around it. <laughs> the rest of it's good though, so yeah. Next time we'll know.